know I've been a god to the scene, but I only claim the god of me. And some of y'all just seem like a dream. Spilled your weight and then up. Yeah. Alright. Let's see what, what this sounds like coming in here. Yeah. Sounds pretty cool. So, this is what I like to do with my samples. I like to take my samples and I like to put them in a sampler um, or a drum pad um, and go ahead and trigger them from my keyboard. So, the, the trick with this is you take the clip out of session view into arrangement view. And let's drop it down here to its original track. Okay. Let's increase that so we can really see what it looks like. All right. Now, if I were to go ahead and slice to MIDI now, what would happen is, or slice to new MIDI track, what would happen is this, we would lose all this data, the transpose and, and the formats, and it would go back to the original uh, sample, okay? Um, it'll keep the same tempo, but it'll go back to the original pitch. So this is what we got to do here in order to trick it, all right? Um, first, we want to consolidate this region. And if I right click this and go here to consolidate, at this point, what I want to do, so if I play it, yeah. it's still at the seven semitones, all right? Yeah. You see this went back to zero. So now if I do this, yeah. So let's just keep at that. What I want to do now is after I have that, I want to crop or slice this uh, data here to a new MIDI track. All right. And I'm going to keep each slice at a bar each. You can do it by transients, quarter notes, what is, you know, whatever you feel. I'm just going to do mine to a bar for now. It's going to give me a whole new track down here. See this? Let me go ahead and I can actually, well, I don't want to, but I could delete that. It doesn't matter. And now this is going to play. Yeah. Yeah. So the cool thing with that is I can come back. Let's delete this because I don't want that to play the way that those MIDI notes. It already sliced those MIDI notes for me. See that? Those are already sliced or pre-mapped for me. But now if I hit my keyboard... So now I'm able to freak the sample the way I want to. So let's delete these MIDI notes because we don't want it to trigger while we play. And let's go back to our session view. And see, I can um, I can minimize this or turn it off, actually. And now here's my drum rack pad. Okay, so now each slice is on its own pad. <laughs> So let's play that with the beat and see what it sounds like. That. Yeah. so I can freak it now and I can actually put it into a um, sequence all right and the way I would do that is simply by just triggering this uh, record button on my clip Now you can see all of my MIDI that I just triggered. So let's go ahead and just quantize that and hear what that sounds like. Cool. 
scroll and make sure your length is set to eight bars. All right, this guy here. And that's how I do my samples. Now I'm going to freak the beat a little bit here and I'll play it at the end so you can kind of hear what I did with it. So once again, this is Rico Lumpkins, a.k.a. The Vet Boy. Uh, don't forget to, you know, leave me a comment um, and definitely share this with uh, all you musician and producer and beat making buddies. Uh, nice little tip and trick for everybody. All right. So thank you for tuning in to uh, Rico's YouTube 2 channel. Vet Boy. Pew. Some of y'all just seem like a dream Spilled your weight and then up your team Many game and gone before me And failed to succeed, it's time to proceed Throwing in the towel's not an option But some of y'all just sitting down watching What kind of legacy you gon' leave Don't answer for me, just answer your seats Pew.